Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. 2 Corinthians 3, 17 and 18. Transformation. Every time we encounter him, we cease being our current versions. We move to higher and even more superior versions. Please give it to us. Now the Lord is that spirit, the Bible says. And where the spirit of the Lord is, help me, there is liberty. But we all, so how many people can be part of this blessing? All. All. All including your children your children's children we all it says with open face beholding us in a glass the glory of the lord the bible says are changed are changed are changed transformed into the image of god from glory to glory even as by the spirit of god let a weak person stay in his presence and weakness dries up you will see a strong person come. Let a fearful person stay in his presence. Listen to me. The rod of Aaron that was not connected to the earth in the presence of God is still bothered. It changed states. You've been here right from yesterday. It means that at the end of this conference, something should happen to you. When Moses stayed in the presence of God for that long, when he returned, he did not even know that his face was glowing. The nation of Israel could not behold him and they said no no he had to cover his face transformation of your mind transformation the quality of your life and your destiny changes in his presence let me tell you a little story many years ago I'd never never entered a plane an aircraft in my life prior to that time and I sat down one time outside and I was looking and there was an airplane that was moving and I was just blessing the Lord and I remember the Lord speaking to me and he says my word will put you in that plane every time I fly today I have memories of those days and I said can you imagine if God can take you from the ground to the sky he can take you from the pit to your destiny are we together there is nothing that God cannot do if you believe him hallelujah transformation that means a poor you can become a wealthy you courtesy his presence an unanointed you can become a marvelously anointed you courtesy his presence a sick you can become a healthy you courtesy his presence a spiritually ignorant you can become one who is full of light courtesy his presence the presence of God brings transformation let me give you the last are you ready the presence of God guarantees the supernatural this is the sixth blessing of his presence you want to walk in the supernatural you want to witness and experience the supernatural genuine supernatural manifestations cannot be outside of his presence mark 16 19 and 20. let's read together mark 16 19 and 20. so then after the lord had spoken to them he was received up into heaven and sat at the right hand of god verse 20 and they went forth and preached everywhere the lord walking with them and confirming the word with signs following do you believe that the lord walking with joshua selman if the lord is not with us probably they would have beaten us in some of the nations we have visited you go there in the name of the lord and have the audacity to say the sick will be healed verify that god is with you reminds me of acts 10 38 
how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and the Bible says he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed of the devil please read the last sentence for me for God was with him for God was with him commanding signs and wonders through his life like it will begin to happen to you after tonight strange manifestations of signs and wonders i hope you know that signs and wonders are not left for pastors and apostles and preachers no he said for this promise is unto you and to your children your children's children as many as are far off even as many as the lord himself will call it is the heritage of every believer to walk in signs and wonders we are gathered here tonight in his presence again ready to experience all kinds of breakthroughs there are people here tonight among the thousands of people gathered across this auditorium and around some are sick in their bodies there are some who have death sentences literally did you know the thing about sickness is that sometimes it never shows on the victim you can see someone looking healthy whereas medical report tells you there are only two weeks left to live by the privilege of what I do, I've had the honor of ministering to people and sometimes I marvel at how people have to endure so much pain. How about oppression? There are people who get up in the morning and they know they will return with trouble because of the kinds of spirit influences that are around their life. Hallelujah. All kinds of wrong things happen with them. They look at you somewhere and say, you look like the arm robber that just told. Follow us to the police station. Why must it be me? I came out in peace to buy groceries and I suddenly look like an arm robber. Are we together? Listen, let me tell you, I don't mean to scare you, but if God does not come to immune you with his presence, there is no limit to the episodes of pain that you go through courtesy wicked spirits. They will program all kinds and all shades of pain in your life hallelujah but now thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph that's what your bible says are we together now yes how god anointed jesus of nazareth it says with the holy ghost and with power he went about doing good and the bible says healing not they that were sick they that were oppressed of the devil I've been oppressed before I know what it means to be oppressed it has no regard for gender has no regard for your intellectual you know sacrifice there are people seated right now they cannot breathe there are those who if they if they don't use some kind of aid they may die in their sleep how can that be the will of God no sir there are families as soon as God brings certain blessings sicknesses and all kinds of tragedies now begin to come one million every week two million every week until they are impoverished they sell their homes they sell everything this is why we're gathered here tonight how about those who perpetually stand before closed doors and it looks like doors never open they experience all kinds of satanic delays how do you know you are going through delay when the only thing that grows in your life is your age according to God's design everything should grow if your age is the only thing that is growing you need help hallelujah praise the name of the Lord I once prayed for a lady very wonderful lady and that lady would tell me in truth I didn't know that um, it was later she told me the story the mother was trusting God desperately for the fruit of the womb and of course knowing all that she you know the little she knew she they took her to someone true story and the man said I will do something for you and you have a child but when this child is 20 years make sure you bring this child back and she said you'll be dead by then and according to them they said they pointed a little boy who was playing there and said this boy will be alive and you'll be heading that shrine by then do you know sincerely if I'm joking I'll tell you I'm joking when this lady clocked 20 years on the dot you would dare not come and stand near her and say I want to go and see your parents what those spirits will do for you first hallelujah 
this lady's life became a shadow of herself within a moment and the mom began to consult and you know sincere women doesn't mean they are evil they advised and said look just find a way of taking this your daughter back so that whatever needs to be renewed let it be renewed it was the daughter that insisted and said no no that the first part happened without me being there this one I'm there and I, I have to define my possibilities and that was when they brought her there I said my dear you don't have to go back to that satanic thing ought not this woman being a daughter of Abraham whom Satan has bound these years hallelujah there are many families like that some of you are looking at me you know the story I'm not here to scare you but assuming you are free is a costly mistake you don't assume if you are free you will know you are free by faith and then by experience hallelujah I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about but thou O oh Lord had a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou O oh Lord had a shield for me my glory, the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. What is the business of an aircraft with a mold hill or even a mountain? It is far above those limitations. Hallelujah. Isn't it amazing that there are times that an aircraft will pass through a mountainous region and those inside do not even know because of the advantage of altitude. God can lead a man. You don't see traffic in the air. It only happens on land where you have to wait sometimes angry but you still have to wait because there is a car before you and there's no other road to follow. Not the air. The pilot has the liberty of navigating through the tides in case there is enough space to not distract his speed. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Physically speaking, well except now that you know people like Elon Musk and the rest are leading technology in automobile until now you can't just leave your car like that and then fire it and instruct it to take you wherever it will take you you will most likely die you have to sit down even if it's for 12 hours you are behind the wheel is that true and if for any reason you fall asleep may God help you because that car will fall asleep too but not the air not flight in flights there is a principle called the principle of cybernetics so when when the aircraft veers off by a certain angle it will kick in and restore that airplane back to its trajectory to make sure that under normal circumstances it cannot veer off to kill people it's an advantage you only have in the air i'm saying that because there is somebody after today by by the time god sets you on fire and you begin to soar there are certain egyptians you saw by reason of where you are standing in the name of my god and your god you will never see them again forever you will never see them again forever you will never see them again forever Hallelujah. I presume that many of us here perhaps are in school one of the campuses around I hope you know that it takes the Spirit of God to make men intelligent hallelujah I once prayed for a gentleman who was purported to be very smart but it looks like his intelligence just disappears in an exam hall he will help people conduct tutorials but when he sits down there he will write rubbish and remember his answer later in the evening hallelujah and let me pray for someone you have tried and tried there are three ways to open doors you may have heard me teach this number one is through the use of correct keys when you use correct keys doors open the second way we open doors is by knocking but the problem with knocking is that the person at the other side must love you enough to open the door are we together but the third way 
not very pleasant but effective of opening doors is by breaking them the bible says at midnight paul and silas they prayed they sang and everyone in the prison heard them suddenly your bible my bible says there was an earthquake and when he came there it rattled the foundation of that prison and then he says all doors not some all doors whether the key was there or not all doors open he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder in one minute i'd like you to open your mouth any category that your case falls under tonight insist that within the next 10 minutes do a quick walk in my life oh god enugu are you praying do a quick walk over my health over my family do a quick walk students pray family members pray business people pray those in ministry pray do a quick walk oh god one thing is for sure that i will never return the way i came i have tabernacled in your presence let the rewards and the blessings that follow your presence follow me someone is praying all those who are at the tents the overflows i hope you are praying someone get angry in your spirit enough is enough in the name of jesus the son of the living god pray for your children pray for your spouse pray for the prayer ministry god gave you pray for the apostolic ministry he gave you that prophetic ministry he gave you it's time to soar in the spirit hallelujah 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 becoming angry listen becoming angry with your current situation is a prerequisite to rising there is nothing in your life that will change when you are comfortable with it why the shame why the mockery in my life oh god arise for the sake of your name why the stuntedness in my ministry why the stuntedness in my business hallelujah listen let me tell you this a time came in my life when i acknowledged the fact that the favor of god was not yet working in my life i had to admit it with sincerity it was a february from the first of february till the 28th or 29th i can't remember of that month i took out time to pray and deal with the issue of favor i knew that if the favor of god was not upon my life i i would have a hard time doing ministry and perhaps it could tilt me towards the corridors of compromise and i didn't want that and so i had to flog it out with destiny there is something about a person who is determined listen if your father did not pray this prayer you are praying for the sake of your children pray it are we together now if those who went ahead of you those who've gone ahead of you if they were careless and did not take responsibility don't blame them but now that you are an enlightened believer hold on to the horns of the altar and say lord tonight tonight i've been attending many soar conferences but let this be my own let me give you one more minute to pray before i begin to minister i'd like you to insist mention the condition by name don't assume go ahead be anxious for nothing the bible says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says let your request be made known unto god mention it by name lord this delay must come to an end mention it by name this financial stagnation mention it by name this oppression over my health over my body over my son my daughter my spouse in the name of jesus
Hallelujah. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. the name of the Lord now please I want you to listen to me such a strong presence in this place we'll do a very quick walk in this meeting but I want to pray for you I'm going to be praying and ministering to the sick shortly but I felt stirred in my heart to begin this miracle service with an impartation an impartation means that you have a chance to access graces that you did not come here with very strong anointings and graces that rest upon you and I want to pray now there might not be space enough space but if I do ask you to bring a few people out please bring them once the front is exhausted then that's fine we have to work with what we have but I want to pray for you I really want to pray for you I feel a stirring in my spirit and there is a grace that I want to release upon you hallelujah I'm hearing in my spirit visions. God wants to open people to the realm of visions. Acute illumination by the spirit. I want to stretch my hands right now. I want you to please bring those people out for me. Father, in the name of Jesus, the men and women that must drink of this fountain of supernatural encounters because Emmanuel is with us right now in the name of Jesus. Let that grace rest upon you now. Let that grace rest upon you. As the power of God comes upon them, I want you to pick them and bring them out. The light of God will fall upon you. And in the name of Jesus, may your eyes be open to start seeing. Open to see. May your ears be open to hear. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh well those under the anointing are the ones to come out but then since you are out let me just pray for you in Jesus name may the Lord help you open you up to these realms of visions by the power of the Holy Spirit for all of you who are here in front the Lord show you mercy in Jesus name you may return to your seat please I'm going to pray right now I want you to bring okay who is Stella Stella I'm hearing a name Stella I can imagine that there might be many people with that name I have just about 10 minutes and I want to walk with time I'm hearing the name Stella and the Lord is speaking to me that he wants to bring a visitation to the family of Stella in the name of Jesus Christ the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords how many of you believe in speed This is a grace that I know that when it comes upon a man, it can redeem time. Can I release that grace upon you? To pastors, to families, to prophets, to apostles, to businessmen, I stretch my hand. Let this mantle from heaven speed 
take that grace now take that grace now inside and outside bring them out I declare speed upon your life speed upon your business speed upon your destiny no more delay I cause the spirit of delay I I call it by name help them please my God and I cause it by the God of heaven delay live your life now here at four conference 2023 every altar that sponsors delay in your life it comes under judgment now comes under judgment now comes under judgment now open your mouth in one minute and rebuke the spirit of delay over in my life over in ministry by the power that raised Christ from the dead pray speed is coming to your life I tell you there is a man of God here the way God will start moving you in ministry you will become a voice in this city I'm seeing it in my vision may that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ By your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. In your name I come alive to declare your victory. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. By your spirit I will rise. hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is showing me something that looks like a rope and I'm seeing it tied to the feet of people and the Lord is saying I should release those families I don't know what family is here whose destiny has been tied children tied career people tied a graduate but no advancement right now I decree and declare at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus and that fire will fall upon you and your family will be set free. Are you ready now? What One, two, three, shout Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
now i'm seeing in my vision three ladies they come from a family where marriage never works three ladies there are three sisters this is what god is showing me i know we may not have the time please help her in the name of jesus i rebuke that spirit and i decree and declare any family that has been tied down here i say it again that you will not rise i declare may those chains be broken now may those chains be broken now may those chains be broken now hallelujah praise the name of the lord there's a gentleman here you studied law you are a lawyer but things have not been working for you at all this is what god is showing me i'm trying to work with time my sincere apologies you are a lawyer like a barrister or so you studied law is there such a gentleman here i want to speak to you i know that at time and but i want to speak to you where is that person your deliverance has come please verify make sure that the hallelujah jane who is jane that should be a lady's name jane j-a-n-e jane i'm hearing the name jane and the lord is saying that siege that has sat upon your family jane ah, wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name i decree and declare everything that has held the family of jane as god is speaking to them he's speaking to you let it be broken now let it be broken now help her please let it be broken now let it be broken now let it be broken now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the lord is showing me someone here for 11 years is it your brother or your father has been trying to build and they've not completed it 11 years this is what i'm seeing who is that person please make sure that it is the case that i mentioned let's examine this in 11 years they've been trying to build there is something called the finisher's anointing it is a grace that comes upon a man and grants for completion Don't worry if there's no space you can stand where you are please there's no space you can stand where you are this man you're building you for that long i'm not saying if you are having a building project please listen instructions are important in the presence of god i'm not saying if you are building and you want it to be complete i will pray that one later on i'm talking about someone for over 11 years you have been building and have not been able to complete it can i pray for you the power of god is coming on one of you right now i just saw this in my vision when that happens i will pray for you these are signs why god does this thing sometimes i don't know but there's a mighty fire among those of you who are in front here that fire is coming upon one of you and the moment that happens then i pray for you now i can pray for you in the name of jesus i decree and declare whatever has stopped these projects from coming to fruition to completion i decree and declare in the name of jesus some of you even from now between now and the end of the year the way resources will come supernaturally help that woman in the name of jesus i release resources by prophecy, I apparate as Kotia. Temperata, embrace as Kotiata. I release resources prophetically. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, they were preserved. He says, Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. Believe his prophet, so shall you prosper. I prophesy to you and over you. May my God bring resources to your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, 
um, I will pray for this one so that they clear the way all of you who are out here I stretch my hands over you and in the name of Jesus you return with your miracles that which the Lord has done remains permanent in Jesus name I pray the Lord is ministering to me there is a family that has a pattern of diabetes the Lord wants to bring it to an end now diabetes please don't be distracted huh? your word is coming your word is coming make sure your heart is prepared to receive your word is coming there is someone the power of God is coming on the person right at the back just this row as I'm standing right at the back please I want you to carry the person if you can and bring the person for me right at the back I'm praying for families with the pattern of diabetes I want to rebuke that devil now when when I make the call don't worry if I don't ask you to come you can just remain where you are so we walk the time but I need to pray that means your siblings it's not just you who has suffered it this is Mount Zion and the Lord is going to bring you healing if you don't believe you'll be healed don't come out so you don't waste your time the power of God is on you I command that devil out of her now out of her the name of Jesus out of her where the Spirit of the Lord is there is liberty this is your house your own we welcome you Lord we welcome you this is your house your One more time that I am your house I'm your home I welcome you Lord I welcome you I am your house your home I welcome you today hallelujah hallelujah I had the opportunity to pray for someone one time sir the person's leg you know how you are cutting an animal like maybe a cow and you are shredding part of it all you could see the bones I'm not exaggerating and they said that thing was caused by diabetes I never knew that this thing called diabetes could create ulcers like that I'm not a medical person and there was nothing that was administered to that person to be healed and to be free it was already touching the bones and if the bones began to get rotten the only thing that would be left was to um, to um, um, amputate the leg and I said that devil is a liar I want to pray for you please believe please believe you will never forget this conference in a long time ah, I just saw light on two of you two of you two of the people in front light I just saw that light now don't mind me let me do my thing I was born for this in the name of Jesus this lady wearing yellow you are one of such people that light is coming upon you and in the name of Jesus I decree and declare let every foul devil connected to ancestry release you and release your loved ones now and forever now I stretch my hands upon every one of you listen Please believe in the healing ministry. Not everybody is acting and not everybody is playing games. There are people who fear God. You can carry a genuine healing grace that shows. And I'm praying, as I'm praying for them, I believe there's someone who came for this meeting. As part of the many tools for the ministry God is calling you into, you need a rich deposit of the healing anointing. Otherwise, the gates of nations will not open for you. Are we together? The end time church is not a noise making church it's an impactful church father I stretch my hands right now mama please place your hand on your chest yes in the name of Jesus 
I stretch my hands. Let the healing power of Jesus, my God, something is flowing here right now. Diabetes, you are a spirit. I call you by name and I cost you. Help her, please. Help that woman. You know why I prayed for her? Help. Oh my God, please help her. She's an elderly woman. No problem, just guide her. I mean, there is a reason why I asked her to place her hand. Mama, please don't be embarrassed. Eh? Do you know what happened to you? There is something that if I don't pray for you for, I see that this thing, I'm not a prophet of doom. This thing would have taken your life. That's why I said, place your hand on your chest. I'm praying for you. Diabetes, in whatever form and expression it has come, the same way it came, let that devil be packing now. Let that devil pack out of your life now. Therefore, be healed now. Be healed from diabetes now. Whether you are in the crowd or you are here, let that power touch you now. Be healed from diabetes. Never to return to you again. In Jesus' name I pray. Please return to your seat rejoicing. Return to your seat rejoicing. Now, the Lord is asking me to pray for people and particularly for those people I'm going to make a request. I will first ask you to lift your hands. If you are not many, I will ask you to come. But if you are, then you will stay there. If you have any case of insanity in your family, that means there is someone related to you who is having some kind of a, what medical people, you see sometimes this English, huh? a mental or some psychosomatic problem. Lift your hands. Let me see you. I'm not saying you know someone, someone connected to you by blood. Either a, gen a gentleman who is mad, like the madman in Gadara. Is there someone like that? Oh, there are so many people. How do we do this now? Just keep your hands lifted. If I ask you to come out, it will take a lot of time. Do you believe that God can do a miracle for them? I respect medicine. I'm full of doctors and medical practitioners around my life. But I submit to you that almost all conditions of madness is a direct product of spirits. Can be enhanced by things like drugs because there are people who take um, all these drugs that they take and pass out and keep passing out till they become mad. So it can be enhanced by those things. But I can tell you those drugs and those practices only give room for spirits. People don't just be, God did not create. I hope you know it's God that created men. We have created aircrafts that can stay 30 years and still be working. God will not create a human being that after 25 years just packs up like that. There is a spirit corrupting God's artistry and God's creativity. I want to pray for you. Many of you will return back to this altar and testify that your loved one who perhaps is in a rehab or whatever, that also includes a loved one who is, I'm going to pray for addiction shortly. Any kind of addiction that wants to destroy you. This is the conference where you lay it down once and for all. You, you, you shouldn't get back to drugs and all kinds of things. Do you know that there are people, I don't like injections. But do you know that there are people who have the courage to inject themselves every day? As painful as that thing is, they do it every day, many times a day. Many times a day. They wake up and inject themselves. Later, they inject themselves. By night, they inject themselves. And their whole body is full of these things, you see. One day, it just leads to this madness we are talking about. I know a God who is merciful and kind, faithful and gracious, and the apple of his eyes, the thought that fills his heart every morning through the night. You believe what you're singing? He loves me when I didn't care. I was patient till I came Running back into his arms Look how he's turned my life around Made me a shining star His glory to reveal Come on, Elipo, let's worship I will worship you forever
standing here only because you of Jesus the spirit of insanity that has plagued families wasting their resources causing division and all kinds of confusion by the power that raised Christ from the dead right now we arrest those spirits and we release the victims right now we release the victims right now we release the victims right now, the right now. in the name of Jesus Christ Hear me. I want to pray for the sick generally right now generally right now I believe in the healing ministry that Jesus left to the church and I believe that before he returns there will be a full weight restoration of the healing ministry I believe this with all my heart lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle Take your eyes away from the situation and look unto Jesus. And you watch what he does in your life. I know that the sickness stands as a mountain before you. Blood condition for some. Cancer for some. HIV for some. Some kinds of lump and growth around your body. Perhaps prostrate for some. Arthritis for some. Eye condition for some. I mustn't mention your case take a step of faith hallelujah back pain for some lumbar issues for some pile painful pile all kinds of respiratory conditions there are some right now your kidneys your liver is almost packing up your heart palpitations and it's almost like oxygen is not flowing properly to your body you've begun to feel numbness around your body and this looks like symptoms of clogged arteries i want to pray for you for as long as i live i will ensure that every day of my life someone experiences the healing power of jesus because he's alive and the greatest form of liberty is life the greatest form of bondage is death without Jesus. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. Because death without Jesus is the zenith of hopelessness. That means when he gives life, he says, I am come that he may have life. Healing is a subdivision of life. The ministry of life demands that everything life captures be featured in your life. That includes healing includes restoration hallelujah eye conditions perhaps you are having a serious eye condition maybe one is already going blind i see people lifting up phones lifting up medical reports perhaps for themselves or for others i know someone who could be in a silent quiet room but the left ear you keep hearing all kinds of um, sounds this is somebody that I once ministered to you know like like there's noise like there's rain just on one part of the ear goita someone's neck is beginning to swell I think that should be deficiency of iodine or something like that yes goita you're beginning to have projections around your neck. Lay your hands, it's about to leave right now. There's someone I want to pray for you because I'm sensing you have, it looks like appendicitis, but it's not appendicitis, but just where someone with that condition will feel pain. You've been having that pain for a long time. 
I'm, I'm going to pray for you right now listen I'm ministering by the Spirit of God there's someone you once fell and you fell here with the back of your head from that time you've been having like migraines excruciating pain you've been afraid of going to the hospital because you do not even know what they are going to tell you has happened but I need to pray for you the Lord is showing me a gentleman and there is also a lady you had an accident with someone one time it was a head-on collision you didn't enjoy yourself physically but from that day you are not all right and you've been afraid also to go to the hospital perhaps there are internal maybe organs or some kinds of bleedings the Lord is going to set you free right now ulcer very severe painful ulcer I'm seeing someone who is going through this case right now in fact there's someone I don't know what the overflow is this one that is just directly by my side the tent there the Lord is showing me a gentleman there I need to pray for you you are not able to move your neck very well I don't know whether you are wearing whatever it is but I'm seeing that there's severe pain if you you cannot even lie down on one side because you feel severe pain now there is a lady that God wants to heal and you don't have to come out I'm going to mention your case then I pray you have some kind of problem with your respiratory tract you snore very seriously this has nothing to do with lying down wrongly you understand it's something that people have to wake you because it almost looks like you can die you can pass out the Lord wants to bring you healing by the Spirit of the Living God I'm seeing someone having a severe pain around his ankle severe pain around his ankle and for those of you who are standing in for your loved ones maybe connecting in hospitals do you know it is amazing how that doctors right now are in, in, a, in an ever-growing manner believing in the supernatural during our miracle services you, you cannot imagine how many hospitals literally just put the screen and allow their patients and the kind of profound miracles that come out there yes that's what Jesus is able to do you sent your word and it healed my disease you are the Lord my healer I want to pray for you now please just help those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out but I want to minister the power of God if you've never believed in the healing ministry for God's sake believe this once Jesus heals he really does father in the name of Jesus by the blood of the eternal covenant ah, I hope you know that is where the power of healing flows if you understand the cross then you will understand the healing ministry because that is where the power flows by his stripes the Bible says crucified lay behind us you leave to die rejected, rejected alone, alone, like a rose trampled on the ground you took the fall and tied a heap above let's pray in the name of Jesus Christ I command every spirit of infirmity in whatever form or fashion it has plagued God's people by the blood of the eternal covenant I decree and declare that spirit lives now my God that spirit lives now that spirit lives now right now I stretch my hands and I decree and declare let the healing anointing flow to your body now let the healing anointing flow to aparacos in the name of Jesus Christ 
let that stream of healing flow to your body now be healed in the name of Jesus blood conditions be healed in the name of Jesus goiter be healed in the name of Jesus ulcers be healed in the name of Jesus pile be healed in the name of Jesus every kind of growth in your body fibroids lungs be healed in the name of Jesus heart palpitations kidney problems liver problems heart problems be healed now in the name of Jesus eye conditions I rebuke blindness I rebuke cataract I rebuke glaucoma short-sightedness long-sightedness be healed in the name of Jesus every kind of bone condition I saw this case I'm about to mention now the last time I was in this city while I was ministering I saw this case and the Lord is showing me a similar case again this is what we call impotency I need to pray for that person in the name of you don't have to come out but in the name of Jesus this is something that has really affected your marriage I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead let a miracle happen this moment let a miracle happen this moment we cause that spirit of impotency in the name of Jesus and for every daughter of Zion who has not been able to put forth a child regardless what the medical situation is we agree as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ this moment in the name of Jesus we call you a joyful mother of children we call you a joyful mother of children help them please my God we call you a joyful mother of children and that according to the time of life return with your miracle children ear condition be healed now bone conditions be healed now every other case whether I mentioned it prophetically or not provided it is a disease in your body in the name that is above all names be healed from it now and for your loved ones who may not be here wherever they are you have the faith to believe I stretch my hands as God is touching you may he touch them in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ now hear me there are people here your challenge is not sickness you are not sick in your body in as much as you know but yours is that you are trusting God for certain things to happen in your life I want to pray for you in the name that is above all names everything that has remained a prayer point for a long time every time you are asked to write prayer points you write it then write it again then write it again long-standing issues i release my faith with you by the spirit that raised christ from the dead let this season be a season of manifestation let this be a season of manifestation in the name of jesus christ hear me everyone who is in school here undergraduate postgraduate I stretch my hands upon you the kind of intelligence you have never experienced in your life let that grace rest on you now let that grace rest on you now let that grace rest on you now in the name of Jesus Christ and for everyone trusting God for employment or trusting God to excel in business 
I want to release this grace upon you. Wherever your job is, whether in Enugu or anywhere across the east or anywhere in Nigeria or anywhere in the world, I relocate you to your place of relevance. I relocate you to your place of relevance. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone you and I think is it your wife or your sister now I'm seeing a lady you applied for a US visa and you were denied go back and apply again I'm saying this prophetically to you go back and apply again and may the God of wonder surprise you I don't know who should have remembered you but forgot you in the name of Jesus wherever they are we stand here as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and we declare that they will remember you now. They will remember you now. Now, ladies and gentlemen, my final prayer for you, I want to place something upon your life. It's called the grace of favor. There is a real grace called favor and it can come upon men and speak evidently in their life. I stand upon this altar as a privileged career of this grace and I pray for you in a way you have never experienced whether in your life whether in your ministry may that grace mantle you right now may that grace mantle you right now may that grace may that grace mantle you right now carry the grace for favor let it speak in your finances let it speak in your ministry let it speak in your family let it speak in your business in the name of jesus from the rising of the sun right on till it's going down i will sing of the glory of the lord oh You've been standing here my apologies you are the lawyer i can't even remember why i called you out i want to pray for you what do you do i'm a I mean, practicing lawyer father in jesus name i'm praying for this man since you came out openly may the nation see you so that when, when you come to testify it will be clear that the hand of god has come upon your life i stretch my hands and i declare the gates of your destiny be open heather and teeter May the Lord shift you to a higher dimension in your practice. Connect you to strategic opportunities. In the name of Jesus. I make a decree on this and may the Lord honor it. In Jesus name I pray. God bless you sir. Thank you. Now ladies and gentlemen. This is only day two. I want to encourage you. I'm going to make an altar call now. Please let's minimize movement. But I want to encourage you. The conference. Okay, now um, Reverend has given me the permission to among the prayers that I'll do so that will be the third thing he's asked me to pray for all those who have given and are given towards that project he just felt that it shouldn't be that you know they just drop their seed so I'm going to speak over your life but I want to make an altar call there are people always in a gathering like this you will always find people who need Jesus there's no point cajoling you. You know that you need Jesus in your life and you need Jesus in your destiny. Lend me a minute or two and let me give some persons an opportunity to make it right with Jesus. Wherever you are, I'm going to count one to five very quickly. Do not be ashamed. Do not be afraid. You know you need to come out here and the Holy Spirit is telling you to run out. As I count one to five, leave your seat and very boldly, I see my dear sister coming. God bless you. Is someone joining her? I'm counting one to five. One. Let's celebrate them as they come. Run and come and stand before Jesus here. Make your ways right once and for all. Two. God bless you. Three. Come. Come to Jesus. I'm seeing a few people running. Come. Come. We will wait for you. If it has to do with your eternal destiny, we will wait. God bless you. Come. Come. Three. 
when I count five, I begin my prayer. So if you are coming, please make your way to the front. All the tents and the overflows, you need not come in. You may just move to your screens and just stand in front of your tent. Glory to Jesus. Many are coming. Four. My last count and then I begin to pray. Do not be ashamed. Come to Jesus. He's able to give you a new beginning. 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 And finally, five. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming. Please, if you're joining them, come quickly. I'm about to lead them in this prayer. May I request that, number one, you receive the sleep that you'll be giving now. There are counselors giving you a sleep. Please do receive that sleep. At the end of the prayer, you would go back to your seats, but you'll be... Okay, beautiful. Now, all right, all of you who are coming out, um, there's a number there, 0702-557-5225. Um, you text new life. That's all you need to text. New life to that number, and there'll be somebody at the end of the, that call to respond to you. Lift your right hand if you can and say this prayer after me. Let it be from the depth of your heart. God bless you for those of you who are still coming. Say, Lord Jesus. One more time. Say, Lord Jesus. I love you with all my heart. And I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb i go forward ever and backward never the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i am a child of god amen keep those beautiful hands lifted father thank you for this once the bible declares that as many who will come to you, you will in no wise cast away. These ones have come declaring your lordship over their lives. In the name of Jesus and by the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. I call you recipients of the life of God. Let grace be released upon you for a victorious Christian life. And in the name of Jesus, you are empowered to love and serve Jesus all the days of your life. You go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. So do well to... Uh, fill in your slips if you have to and then do not forget that you're texting new life to this number god bless you and thank you very much please do return to your seat my final assignment um i've been asked to pray for all those who are giving that includes myself praise the name of the lord and so for all who are giving i don't know if i'm going to ask you to stand whether you have given or you will be giving i want to expect everybody really to stand so that I just speak a word of blessing over your life. So do stand. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. Now I decree and declare may the Lord bless you. Let the hand of God rest upon your life. You will experience abundance of grace in the name of Jesus. For all who have given, no matter how small, no matter how large an amount, may your sacrifice rise as a memorial to the heavens. For some of you, by your giving, untimely death has come to a permanent end in your life and family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying that for those who desire to give and are trusting that God will bless them so they can give, may the heavens be opened over you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord bless your givings. Let it come from your heart and let it be unto his name and for his kingdom. For in Jesus' matchless name I pray. And then I pray that everything you have received tonight and all that you are going to be receiving from the ministry of Pastor Jerry Eze, the ministry of Reverend George, and then um, the man of God, the chief host, and every other ministration in whatever form it will come. I am praying for you for the grace to retain in the name of Jesus Christ that what you have received will not be lost through carelessness. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name we pray. As always, I am deeply grateful, Reverend Sir. Thank you so much, Enugu, for always receiving of our ministry. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Please.
Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.